At the end of yesterday's video, we were trying to determine where to make the bend. And uh, I'm guessing if we make it about one millimeter to the left of that post, it should be just about right. And it doesn't have to be much of a bend. Maybe only, uh, oh, 20 degrees? Now, we want the bend to be right about there, about a millimeter to the left of that post. But if I push down to make the bend, I'm going to ruin the, uh, the curve right there. So I think what we'll do is very carefully here, we'll raise this up just a little. And then maybe we can Turn this. Okay. Now, there's our post. So we want to have the bend about a millimeter towards you. And remember, just a little bend, not a big one. I don't think that was enough. Maybe I'll try it without the pliers. Okay. That kind of looks like it might do it. Well, let's put it on the ship and then we'll know. Okay, the bend is a little bit too much. Let's see if I can straighten it here. I just bent it with my fingers. I think I have to straighten it just a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more yet. It's really nice that I can edit out these dead spots. It's still not enough. Now I think, maybe just fasten it right, whoops, well I'll straighten it back out, but my thinking is, if I was to fasten it right there, now, uh, see if I can get this back. Okay, now if I was to fasten it right along here, uh, let it cure, and then pull this up against, against this edge of the deck, and fasten it there, 
I think that'd be pretty good. Then we just need one section to go from here to here. I think one of these sections would just about exactly fit. Okay, let's not go crazy here now, Ron. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh. I moved it a little bit my way. Wonder if it's too late to try and push it back. Yeah, it's starting to adhere itself. At least I didn't knock it off. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Notice that this band right here doesn't perfectly match up. But maybe uh, when I shove it from the back, it'll look a little better. Now here's where that tool that we made up yesterday should work really good. I can just very carefully see where would be a good spot. Maybe just behind that. If I can get it through there. Let it rest. And now pull it back. So it's tight up against the... Yeah. That actually seems to be pretty good. If I could get this one to go down. Well, well, we'll worry about this end later. Now, let's not break anything off today. Okay, we'll let that cure, and then we'll worry about the other end of the fence. Pretty sure I got some on there. Okay, now carefully take this out. Now, let's see if we can do the same thing at this end here. Put it about there. And pull back. Not too hard, just enough. You know what, I'm going to reposition myself here. Okay, everything is exactly the same as it was. It's just that I've swung it around so that I could use my steady rest. I realize that doesn't look very steady, does it? There. Okay, a couple of minutes has passed here. There we go. You know, right now outside, it is sunny and bright. Clear skies. Beautiful out there. First thing this morning, when I wanted to try and capture Mars disappearing behind the moon, it was cloudy. In fact, it was snowing a little bit over here. Let's see if I make a hole right here. And another one right here. Maybe I should make it a little lower. Well, I can remember that. Okay, I guess you can figure out what I'm trying to do here. If I mount this on here, it gives me a little bit of protection on this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and the same on the other side. I haven't checked the other side. This is just uh, scrap that I have. And uh, my thinking is that what I can do is uh, opposite this mast, I can drill a hole here and a hole in the rail on the other side and put some sort of a, like a wire coat hanger or something. And just, it'll just sort of help when I'm moving my arm across, reaching through, it'll, you know, I'll, I'll feel this wire. It, it won't really protect this a whole lot, but it'll help. Yeah, at least that's the plan. Now, I had what I might call a rather pleasant experience here a minute ago. I uh, went down into my workshop and I drilled the holes that I need to uh, put the screws through and 
I was noticing before that for the other side, this is the board I'm going to put on, but it was uh, I, just the way the brackets were, I guess, when I made up this frame here uh, months ago, it meant that the this board was actually going to almost or yeah touch touch these things on the other side so i thought well i'll, I'll uh, make a couple of spacers for it and uh, what i did was i just i took this piece right here and i cut two little pieces off as you can see now that's not what this conversation is about what it's about is that when i was down in the workshop my table saw it was all ready to go from the last time I'd used it. The dust collector was all hooked up. All I had to do was put on my ear protection, turn on the dust collector, and uh, uh, and uh, saw. And of course, the dust collector it wafts the smell of whatever you cut all throughout the workshop, and uh, it smelled really good. And uh, you know, for a few minutes down there, I was feeling uh, pretty upbeat. You know. And what is good about that is that, um, I don't know if you regular viewers that, have, that go back to when I was down in my workshop constantly, I don't know if you sensed it or not, but I was getting a little bit discouraged about my workshop. Not that I wanted to sell my tools or anything like that, I just didn't feel like being down there. And uh, for a few moments, I was feeling uh, very workshoppy. In fact, I was feeling so upbeat, I came upstairs and made myself a fresh cup of coffee. All right. Now this does not have to be real tight. It just has to be so that I will feel my arm brushing against it. And that's all we need here. Is this going to be long enough? I think so. Just try it about there. Just have it high enough so that it just clears these little things right here. Okay, that uh, little pop that you heard, nothing broke. I know it sounds like I broke something, but I didn't. What happened was the bubble in the bubble pack that I've got broke. So just just to let you know there. Okay, about about like this. Maybe this one's too short. Well, I do have longer ones. Put a one inch one on. Okay. Like I said, it doesn't <clears throat> doesn't have to be tight, just so that I you know it clears all this stuff here. Yeah, that that'll help. And then I can always lower it when it comes to doing the railing along the outside here. But I think it still will allow us to get into all the other places. Yeah. Oh no, you know what I did? I put it on upside down. The holes for the wire hoops, <laughs> it's on the other side. Okay, I'll just change it. Now I know I could have reshot that scene and you would have actually thought that I know what I'm doing. I don't do retakes. You see it as it happens. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Okay, like I say, it doesn't have to be tight. It just has to help keep me from scraping stuff. And I think this will. Hey, you know what? This might be a, a sort of a, uh, uh, a bonus here because I can use it as sort of an, a steady rest. You know what? I can put my, my hand on here and yeah, that's going to be really good. Anyway, we'll carry on here. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful it is out there today. Yeah, this morning I had my camera all set on, set up. I had my 
Now I'm going to be a little bit rude and do a voiceover here because I realize that there's more than just me out there that's interested in adjusting the camera and everything themselves. And what I had done was I had the camera all adjusted and ready to go this morning. I had my 600 millimeter lens on and everything was preset. So all I had to do was just take it out and you might say point and shoot. Now, of course, you can't get a good picture of the moon if you have a point and shoot camera and definitely not if you have a cell phone. But here's a rule of thumb. Way back in the 60s, I knew about the sunny 16 rule. Well, that would be this. You would set your shutter speed to whatever your ASA, or they call it ISO now. In other words, if you were to set your shutter speed, your, if your film speed was 200 ASA, you'd set your shutter speed to 1 200th. And then your correct exposure for a bright sunny day would be F16. You couldn't go wrong with that. Now, here's a new one. It's called the Looney 11. You do the exact same thing. Now, of course, I wanted to make sure I had very little shake, so I wanted to have a real high shutter speed. I set my shutter speed to 1 2 thousandths. I set my ISO to 2000, and I set the f-stop to f11. Now, in that case, when the moon is bright, the surface of the moon will be perfectly exposed. The Looney 11. Remember that, camera buffs. Okay, now we're going to find out everything that's wrong with these rails. Alrighty. Now, will one of these sections fit in there? Looks like it will just barely. One of the viewers was uh, expressing concern about the fact that there might not be enough railing with this kit. And if you remember, we had uh, counted, I think it was 28 uh, pieces. In other words, there was four and there was seven on each one. I have just now uh, nipped off the, fo the fourth one. We've, we've used up three. And although we have a, a little bit of scraps left over, there's nothing really usable. So it is true. I do have to uh, pay attention here. I, I want to make sure that I have at least two full sheets like this left to go all around the outside because the outside railing is going to be the one that everybody's going to see. Okay, we'll hold this down now so it doesn't go pinging off somewhere. And we'll try and cut as close to the post as we can. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Sort of four. Didn't go all the way through. Oh, there we go. It's almost a perfect fit. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, manipulate things around here a little better so that I can get a better angle at it. And see if I can't get it to wedge between here and this other post. I'm trying to be very careful now not to bump anything. Just get a little bit. I can't see it. Did I get any? I'm trying to glue those two posts together here. some on the left one. There. 
Oh, I hope I didn't glue my pinhead to the deck. I don't think I did. Now I have this compulsive feeling that I want to reinforce everything, but I really don't think I need to. I think I'm just going to leave, once again, well enough alone. I'd really like to keep going here on this beautiful afternoon in Winnipeg. However, I've got other things i got to do. So i got to say thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>